subscribe, bang out volleyball. Hey, let's go, I don't need to do an intro anymore. Yo guys, Brian here, if you're new here, welcome. Um, today we're making a video for a update on my new volleyball bag. Uh, just because this is one of the questions, or one of the comments that people have been asking for, or one person has been asking for. So, so here's an update today of what's in my new volleyball bag. First up, I bought this new Swiss gear bag. It's like a luggage bag, and I found this at TJ Maxx. And it's a really unique bag. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description for everything that's in here. Okay, so I want you guys to know how handy this backpack becomes. So, look at this. I have a pocket here in the front. Boom, okay. You have handles here so you can carry it like a luggage. Next up on the side, I bought a new ball pump. I haven't used it yet, but I'm trying to figure out where to put this and I don't wanna lose the pins. Over here, I don't really use this for water, so I'm just trying to figure out where to put this, this uh, ball pump. Next up, I got my A6 volleyball bag. Uh, this is to hold either a volleyball, I think it may fit a basketball, but this is where I put my volleyball as well. What's really unique about this is it has a hook, so you can pretty much hook it on the side of your backpack. So when you're traveling, you don't have to really use too many hands, especially if you're filming your gameplay. It becomes a lot easier when you have a ball bag. Next up, bring some axe. I also bring a whistle. I use a remote whistle because some people share the blowing whistle and I don't really like using that one. So I'm gonna keep using a remote whistle. These go around 15 to 20 dollars on Amazon. You have a pocket here. This is where I put my sunglasses and my contact lenses. Okay. I also bring my Dre Beats. If you guys are AirPod people, I'm cool with that. Uh, but these can become really comfortable. But when it comes to like turning your head, uh, I can't really do that when I play. So I only use this when I'm trying to mentally prepare for a game. I don't really use it when I'm peppering or when I'm doing hitting lines. I know some people do, but for me, I just don't want to rip these. So if you guys are the type of person where you don't want the wire, go buy some AirPods. So these are, but these are a great option. I bring some sunglasses just in case I go out to a grass tournament or to the beach. I don't really play beach that much anymore, but I do like to play grass tournaments, reverse doubles or men's doubles. Um, so these come in handy. I don't really use them, but I like to keep them on the side just in case other people need them. I also bring extra pairs of contact lenses. If you guys can tell, I'm wearing glasses. The last video, I did not wear any glasses. I was probably making that video blind. Um, so I like to bring an extra pair of contact lenses. I also bring knee braces. I got my knee pads right here in this pocket, and then I have a zipper. These come in handy because one, if you have some type of knee issue, these come really handy in keeping your knee warm and keeping your knee pretty stable. For me, it's my left knee. I have two of them because I've had these over time. This one I've used for about two years. This one I've recently gotten maybe like six months ago. And I have two because after you use it for one tournament, it starts to smell really bad. So it's really good to just switch off and not have a really smelly knee, especially if you're doing like a two day tournament. Um, I like to use one and then use the other. I actually have three of these. My gray one has gel padding. This one doesn't have gel padding. So I'll probably use this for open gym. And then the ones with gel padding, I use it for volleyball tournament. Sometimes I like to bring protein bars or protein cookies. I have multiple box. I just leave this out wherever. Uh, just because like throughout the day I just want to stay satiated, have something small to eat while I'm playing in a tournament. Um, another good option, another great option is going to be macadamia nuts. These come really well with staying satiated, it has a lot of calories, very low volume. So macadamia nuts is something I would like to have when it comes to playing in tournaments or just like if I'm out throughout my day playing volleyball and all of a sudden I'm hungry and I'm intermittent fasting, macadamia nuts is a good way to go if you are traveling or going to tournaments or if you just want a small snack. Oh, I found my third knee brace. I have three. So I have a fourth one. So I guess I have all these extra ones just in case other people need them as well. Again, I don't mind sharing my stuff. Um, this one, I don't really use it just because it's a smaller size on me. So technically, I have four of them. Okay, and then I have a zipper right here. Okay, for extra stuff like my bands and my socks. That's where I put my bands and my socks. I like to bring bands just in case my knee feels really bad or like I'm just not having like a great day. Or bands come really handy when it comes to activating your glutes. Um, let's say you don't really stretch a lot or like you just wanna do some band work. This comes really handy when it comes to uh, activating the glutes, especially if you wanna jump higher, maybe get like an inch off the ground just to feel good in the beginning of your day. I also bring a extra pair of socks. 
because at the end of the day, if I have a tournament, my feet smell, fresh new pair of socks works really well. So bring an extra pair of socks. Anyway, you guys probably already know this. I bring a knee strap. I don't use this one anymore. This is just in case other people need it. So I just keep it here just in case. So this is where I have my shoes. It has its own pocket right here. Really cool, right? Now the shoes are probably wondering what I wear. I totally forgot the name of these, but I'll put a link card right up here somewhere. And uh, cause I made a video on that, on how it felt. And these are the shoes I wear. Nike Volleyball Ace something shoe. These are really comfy. They have a lot of cushion when it comes to jumping. And I don't have a lot of pain like when I do when I wear Mizunos. For Mizuno shoes, those are mainly for liberos because they have a lot of lateral support. But when it comes to jumpers, you need a lot of cushion when landing just to keep your knees safe. Um, so these have been working really well for me. I haven't had a problem. I feel like I'm jumping safer, jumping a lot smarter. So I'm gonna go back to this. If you look over here, there's also a pocket right here. So if you have a charger or something you wanna make well hidden, you could leave it right there. It's super cool. That's probably where I should put my shoe balls because they keep falling out like that. So maybe I could put my shoe balls right there. Boom, and then, oh, okay. Learn something new every day, guys. Next one, I called these the shoe smell gooders but they're called shoe ball. So I bring shoe balls because my feet will sink definitely at the end of the day, so keep your shoes fresh, guys. Y'all don't wanna be that person that smells bad on the volleyball court, which used to be me for like a really long time. I bring three lacrosse balls. I have a spike ball one here, and then, uh, let me take this out for you guys. So it's like a spike ball here, and then two lacrosse balls. Um, I use this especially when my calf is really tight or my knee is bothering, my left knee is bothering me. What I do is I roll out the bottom of my left foot and usually my pain goes away because everything starts with the foot and it works its way up. It's a kinetic chain that works well. So if you take care of your feet, everything else in the chain becomes a lot more stable or prepared to go when you're playing. So, lacrosse ball. Now, if you're the type of person that likes to film your gameplay, you're gonna need a charger and a really good charger. You can't have that one charger that's gonna charge your battery one time to 100%. I use the Anchor Charger something ankle Anchor portable charger. This charges your phone up to three times to its max battery. Okay, I'm even using it right now because I didn't charge my phone last night. This comes really handy when it comes to tournaments, especially when you're filming your game. And when you are filming your game, you wanna make sure you have a tripod. I'm just gonna link the tripod down below because I'm using it right now. If you are filming with your phone, make sure you put your phone on airplane mode because when people call you, it stops filming you. So that's something I've learned throughout the time. That's not the only thing. If you go in the back, right? You have this pocket right here, right? This is just like a hole. I don't know what this is for, to be honest, but I put my smelly, sweaty shirts in there or my knee pads in there at the end of the day because I don't want it in here because it'll make everything else stink. So I just want to air it out, kind of. So I put it right there, which makes it so much easier. And I just found that out yesterday. And now I also have a zipper right here. This is where you could put your laptop or you could put like your extra clothes that you want to wear. So I have like extra bang out clothes I give to my friends. Um, so if you guys want to buy a shirt, link will be down in the description. And then I have extra shirts. So when I'm, you know, if I need a change, that's where I have my extra shirts. So that's why this backpack is so handy. So yeah guys, if you guys got this far in the video, like the video. If you guys want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment down below. See if I missed anything. Maybe you guys bring something that I may need as well. Or maybe something I use, you may be using as well now. Um, so leave a comment if you guys want to share your content with me. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.